everyone. Welcome back. I'm Donna Ruco. You're on the list. A controversial editorial is battled out over the airwaves. Erin Christie has the top three stories you're talking about around Tulsa. At number one, going head to head. The Tulsa Beacon's editorial headlined, Don't Elect a Lesbian as a Judge, is causing an uproar. This morning, KFAQ gave the district judge candidate Jill Webb the opportunity to react alongside the writer, Charlie Biggs. It's clear that you don't know me. Um, and I think if you did, if you had talked to me, I don't think that you would have written what you did. Don't you think it's kind of deceptive to say I'm married to a minister and not let people know that you're the kind of relationship you're in? Really no winner here, but at least both sides were heard. At number two, summer bug season. Along with all the camping and the great outdoors comes those nasty ticks. But all that stuff you know about tick removal may not be true. Local blog The Art of Manliness offers up an illustrated guide to tick removal. A list of interesting takeaway, clean the bite with alcohol, then put the bug in a jar and freeze it in case it does make you sick and the doctor knows where it came from. And that tick burning and nail polish wives tales, don't do it. it could could release gross bug juice into your system. And at number three, Father's Day is approaching. Here's a unique idea, the Tulsa Garden Railroad Club's annual tour. Eight homes are featured this year, including Sully Sullivan's, whose fascination with train collecting started while in the military. In 1969, unbeknownst to me, the first factory opened up in Germany, and I happened to be there and saw some of their products for sale and thought, boy, I need some of this. His backyard has been transformed into the 30s, complete with a thousand feet of train track and three waterfalls. The tour is Saturday. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tulsa. I'm Erin Christie.